And we are officially live. Man, I love it. Love my Fridays, man. All right, all right, all right. This is Mike Wall back again with another episode of the Agent Revolution podcast where we deconstruct some of the biggest challenges facing today's real estate agent so they can build a sustainable, profitable, and most of all, fulfilling real estate business. Man, I'm super excited today. I got my man, Mr. John Clark with EXP Realty, Love Ohio Living Team, back on the show, and he's ready to drop some knowledge, man. This is a real special day for John. We got a lot to get into, but before we do, uh, I want you all to know, everybody watching this podcast, that we know there's a big disconnect in our industry. We know that nearly half of the agents in our local market here are not selling any homes. And we are taking it on ourselves to combat that. In fact, we're offering a, a free class on August the 27th from 5.30 to 7.30. It is the roadmap to making $100,000 in this business. And I suggest you go to 100krealtor.com and sign up for that class before the tickets sell out. But welcome to the show, my man, John Clark. What's up? Thank you very much, Mr. Wall. How are you doing? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. I'm actually, re I've been really excited about this one, man, because you and I have been talking for a couple of weeks and kind of getting ready for this. And this is a really special day for you. And uh, why don't we just start off by talking a little bit about, uh, because what we're doing essentially is this is your, this is the exact day, 12 months to the day of when you came into this business. And, uh, you know, when you and I first met, you were driving for Lyft and Uber and uh, you've been a successful sales guy before. You were top of the class at Shred It. Uh, but now, you know, you kind of put all that behind you and you are, you are selling real estate. Not only selling real estate, but you are selling real estate at a high level. So let's talk about your day to day, man. Talk, talk to me about what went on in your world today. Well, uh, this morning I got up early enough to finish off a bike. It's one of my passions I do on the side. Uh, uh, I flip old school BMX bikes and low riders and things like that and uh, finished one off today. And so I was pretty excited about that. And uh, but then shot off at 830 to a showing. And then my brother calls me at the end of the showing and gives me one of the best compliments ever. Uh, he's like, what are you doing today? And I'm like, I'm actually at a showing right now. And he goes figures, which means to me that he thinks that I'm working, which is really means a lot to me. So uh, kind of fired me up, gave me a good laugh. It was something to talk about actually when I called him back to thank him for that and on the way home. Uh, on the way to the closing with him at 1030, uh, where I was a dual agent for the first time. And today is literally the first day of my second year of real estate. Yesterday, I got to finish it off where we originally had two closings scheduled with my little brother, but we had to push him back a few weeks. So I would have ended with a couple more deals for my first year, but it's okay to start off the first three weeks with a couple more than I thought. So uh, I'll, I'll just go with that. Um, and then now I've just been excited. Uh, I put an offer in not 10 minutes ago, and then now you called. So it's been one of the better Fridays I've had in a very, very long time, to be quite honest with you. Gosh, you got to love that, man. It is so it is so um, it's so encouraging. It's so fulfilling to see how far you've actually come in the last 12 months and the person you were then and the person you are today. Just as a real estate agent, you've grown so much, man. And um, you're I think you're just getting started, brother. You know what I mean? I, I think that. Uh, I think I think you're going to be dangerous, man, especially here over the next 12 months. And, and as you get more acclimated, I think one of the things uh, I fear most with bringing a, a brand new agent into our environment is that they don't ever get to see the other side of the business. But one thing I know about you is you are a tenured sales guy. In other words, you've been in different sales jobs. You you know what it's like. Um, you know what it's like to be on a bad team. You know what I mean? You you've you've been there. You know, you know what it's like to suffer. You know what it's like to to have pain. And you really you need that because it molds and shapes you to become the person you are. But you in real estate, when you jump right in and you start having success right away, you you don't get to see that other side, that ugly side of real estate uh, where when we started this podcast, I talked to you about. And by the way, John actually will be. Um, telling his story there. That's uh, 100krealtor.com. That'll be our class on the 27th. Um, John will be telling his story there, but we know there's a huge disconnect in our industry. And we know that 50% of the people in our in our local market here in Dayton, 50% of the agents haven't received a check all year, all that year. Hurts. That hurts feelings. And so like, 
I'm, I'm so glad you you didn't have to go down that road. And we are so, we are truly grateful and blessed to have you in our in our environment here. But I'm I'm curious, man. Like you had great success this year, and, and to kind of talk to me about that. Where do you think that comes from, man? Other than your well, own personal drive and ambition. Well, I'll tell you exactly where it comes from. Um, turns out I'm a real estate genius, and and it has absolutely nothing to do with real estate. Um, it has to do with research. I literally looked you and you know all leadership up and EXP up prior to joining. It's the same thing I did before I joined Shreddit. I don't work for the bottom. I can't, I'm not a used car salesman. I have to sell value. And I saw a lot more value there when I did the research than where else I, you know, other places I had looked. Um, yeah. I, I had a, a connection with one person there, but that's not enough to bring me somewhere. I have a family, a wife who's, you know, out of my league and my son that's awesome. And I want to spoil him. And, and I can't go into a place where I know I'm not going to be successful. And, and I knew straight off the bat with with this particular team, I'd be challenged because I, I mean, not that I'm, I'm I don't feel arrogant, but I'm very I'm very confident in my skills when it comes to to selling. I want to be challenged, and, and and I absolutely feel that way at this particular office. Um, it's it's nice and and not to just blow your horn, Mike, but you know it's nice to to look up to somebody that actually closes deals and knows doesn't just tell you what to do or expect a, spe a specific number from you, but shows you that it's actually possible. Yeah. Uh, it's easier for me to follow somebody that does it than somebody that tells me to do it. And that's the same way I coach soccer. I coach youth soccer. Matter of fact, we had our first practice last night. We won the championship last year, fall plan on doing it again this year. Um, it all comes down to teamwork and working together. And you, it doesn't matter if there's one superstar, I I'll teach any five kids to destroy one superstar in, in, in a game of working together. So, uh, this is a true team. I've got some really great people that, uh, enable me to truly do what I like to do, which is build rapport, uh, get people to know, like, and trust me. And then, you know, and do the research and I'm Johnny on the spot with communication. So uh, people tend to like that. So I've had some good success there. And my brother is an absolutely huge part of this. Um, besides the fact that he's one of my biggest fans, he's thrown me more referrals this year than anybody else. And, and it's, uh, he's also a realtor, which is the best part about it. You know, uh, people come to him because he's a hard worker and, they want to give him the business. And then he's like, you know what? I'm not that kind of realtor. I'm the kind that does it and, and rebuilds houses and makes neighborhoods pretty. And my brother, he's the one that grinds it out and does that kind of stuff. And if you want, he promised not to make you look bad. And uh, so far uh, we've been working well together. I make him look good and he always made me look good. So uh, it's just been a great relationship. And, and uh, yeah, you guys, it let, LOL's kind of set up a, a program that makes it for lack of a better term, idiot proof. If you come in, even if you're not uh, a tenured sales rep, you could be because there's people here that actually care enough to, to help you. If you yeah. have the de determination to sit down and pick up a phone and get the free leads that you're given, I mean, Lord have mercy. It's, it's, if you're not successful, I'm, uh, I can't figure it out, honestly. Yeah. So, sorry. I want to I want get back over the last 12 months, man. Um, Cause you know, I, the funny thing is, is like, you, as you get older, time really starts to go by quick. And I can't even believe that you've been here for 12 months, but I want you to think back over the last 12 months. And I want you like, really think back to like the person you were when you joined and the person you've become. And what are some of the most important things you've picked up on over the last 12 months to become the, the agent you have? Oh man. Well, I tell you what, I, every day I wake up uh, and get vertical, I feel very happy. Uh, which is cool. And I literally have donuts with dads every single morning with my son before school and or camp during the summer. Uh, so I'm always the first parent also to pick him up every day. So my son gets to see the fact that I'm the first parent there every day that's fired up to, to get their kids. So that's been huge, which puts me in a really good mood, which makes it super easy for me to work. Uh, my, my wife uh, is a big fan of me coming home all fired up and happy, you know, obviously from from having a, a good run of luck, obviously with, with clients. And, um, and so uh, we, it's always, it's, it's, it's a nicer environment now because there's less stress at the house um, because I make my own schedule and I adhere to that schedule and I live by the calendar. And that's actually thanks to you guys as well. <laughs> um, I live and die by it. And pretty much if uh, the wife says something is, you know, are we, are we going here? And I'm like, is it on the calendar? And so now we've got it all figured out. So, uh, you know, there's been a lot of things that have been prioritized a little bit better this year than they have been previously. And just life is good all the way around with the entire family. And, uh, and I, I think it's a direct correlation with what's going on at work. So yeah. it's made an easier schedule. 
It's flexible. I don't ever have to worry about my son. There's a call for about my son for anything health, you know, issues at school, which doesn't happen. Thank God. But it, you know, should, should something happen? I'm Johnny on the spot with that as well, of course. So, uh, it's been really nice. It freed up time for me to do my hobby too, which also brings in some money. It's kind of nice though. So, so, you know, it's been, uh, I don't know, just a really good, really, really good year. Um, yeah. Just only looking forward to it getting better. So uh, the overwhelming theme, I think, of what you just said is that you've created structure in your life. You're, you're, you've kind of designed, you've kind of designed your schedule to be exactly what you wanted it to be, right? And 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 so you've you've got time to spend coaching. You've got time to spend with your wife. You've got time to spend on your hobby, which is. Uh, which is which, which is making ugly bikes really cool again, right? And and so like it's it's interesting to see, man, that you know if you you're like we're right, we're not really doing anything that special, right? We're we're just we're 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 showing up every day, and we're you know if you grow one percent, if you give one percent more effort every day, you're giving three hundred and sixty five percent more effort every year, and and so that's what you're doing, man. It's like you're it's a compound effect, right? You're showing up, it's persistence, it's doing the right things in the right order every single day. And while it doesn't sound sexy, it sure works, man. And well, and we sprinkled over the uh, the calendar portion. We didn't mention the fact that there is prospecting time scheduled. There is meeting time scheduled. There's times that for showing scheduled. It's just when it comes to my personal stuff, it is absolutely scheduled now. It used to be fly by night. Now it's strictly scheduled and there's time that is concentrated solely for my family, which is the most important thing. And then there's time that's solely for business and we don't mix the two. And if, if they do cross, we roll with it, you know what I mean? But at least there's something there to kind of go off of and Hey, dad knows this is important. We're going to stay away from this time and we're going to ask him to go to get air or whatever it is, you know? And so my son's learning important lessons now too. things that I think, I would have found a little bit more important possibly earlier. So I'm, I'm just going to do what I can to get, make him, you know, hopefully have some good habits early on and maybe he'll, you know, have a little more success than his father did. So. Yeah, baby. I love it. I love it. And, and I just want to reiterate, man, I can't wait for you to tell your story at the event on, on Tuesday. That's the 27th. Uh, again, if you want to register, it's a uh, hundred K realtor.com. But what I want to know from you, my brother is like, I got a list here. There's 39 pages right here of real estate agents in our marketplace, both sides, 39. You can see, I don't know if you can see those zeros. Those are all zero. Hopefully I didn't reveal anybody's name, but if your name is, you know, <laughs> My name wasn't on there, so I'm not worried about it. If your name is on here, you know, we're talking to you and this event is for you. The, the people that want to succeed in real estate, the people that want to be like Mr. John Clark, like this event is for you and we're creating this event for you. But what I want to know from you, Mr. John Clark is, why do you think there are so many agents? In fact, there's 50% of our agent base that has not sold a house. What, is, what, is, what, what do you attribute that to? Well, uh, after being, and I hope this doesn't sound bad, I've had a few recruitment people, you know, people coming after me during this year, and, and I've talked with people and just to hear kind of what else is out there, and plus doing the research before. Honestly, I think it's a lack of, um, uh, oh, Lord. What's the best way to put this access to training, uh, access to good qualified leads. Uh, everybody kind of looks at the bottom line that when they don't look at the bottom line for real, they look at the splits. They look at someone's getting 80, 20 and they think that's better than 50, 50. But what you just heard me say a minute ago was, well, you probably didn't hear in July. I sold three deals and I did that, uh, or closed three deals. I should say, um, I was able to put them in contract and then pass them to somebody else who handled them very, very well all the way to close. And I could go back to selling again. So I'm not stressing the whole time, a whole month, 45 days, 30 days on one deal. I put them in contract and I go look for another one. And I have people that put them in and I can sit back and literally sleep like a baby at night, knowing there's nothing going to happen to those people. And that is a, that is worth any split ever. I don't care what, if you ever do the math for real, you know, and sorry, that's everybody's different. But for me, I see value in and making my job way easier. And so when when um, you in time, right, you see value in time. Yes. Getting it back with my kid is where it's at. Listen to me. This is the funny. Here's the funny. I just had a conversation with a guy yesterday 
uh, he was a Remax guy, and you know, he calls me up. He says, you know, uh, Mike. Uh, he goes, you know, tell me a little bit more about what you guys are doing. And you know, I, I kind of told, I ran him through what we were doing. He's like, well, you know, what are what are your splits? Uh, how are you paying agents? And I started running through the numbers with him, and he's like, oh, no. he's like, I could never do that, man. And, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm like, well, let's let's break it down, man. Like, like really, let's get real. And I said, how much money did you make last year? And he's like, I made forty six thousand dollars. And I'm like. Okay, I, I was like, I, I was like, and how many houses did you sell? And he said he sold twelve houses. He said he sold twelve houses, made forty six thousand dollars. And I said, what was your life like? I said, and he said, well, it was kind of chaotic, you know. I mean, I was putting signs in the yard, I was negotiating contracts, I was negotiating inspections, uh, I was putting lock boxes out, I was picking signs up, picking lock boxes up, I was filling title sheets out. Uh, talking to the lenders, right? He, he, the guy was literally doing every, every job. He's wearing every hat. And, um, and, and, I, and I'm saying, okay, so you're, you're wearing every hat. Your life was chaotic and you made 46 grand. And I asked him, you know, were you happy with making $46,000? And he's like, well, you know, I, I want to make more money. And, and, I'm, and I'm sitting there thinking, he, 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 it just he wasn't, it wasn't registering. And, I, you know, I said, well, if you could make more money, let, let's put commission splits aside. Are you more about the amount of money you're putting in the bank or you're more about having a high commission split? And, you know, he kind of paused for a little bit and was thinking about that. And I'm like, I, I couldn't even believe he had to think about it. Yeah, like, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like, really, it's at the end of the day, it's, it's how much money you're putting in the bank, dude. Listen, there are people right now that are on a 100 percent commission split that don't sell any real estate. I got a whole list of them, man. And, and it's like, they wouldn't give up their high commission split to sell property. And, and yep. it's, it just blows my mind. And it's like, that's the disconnect, man. It's like, people don't understand what's worth more money, the treasure or the map. And the, the, the answer is the map, man, mm -hmm. because without the map, there is no treasure. You know what I'm saying? Here's the disconnect, man. I had lunch with a great real estate agent today and I really liked the dude. And, you know, he was telling me he wants it, dude. The guy wants it. He's like, he, he's, he, he's watching podcasts. He's listening to, um, uh, 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 he's watching, watching, uh, watching YouTube videos, listening to podcasts. And the guy, he's just, a, he's a learner. He's trying to get it, but he can't piece it all together. And I'm like, well, he's been, he's been in real estate for, for like six months. He sold one house. And I'm like, man, dude, you know, I, I'm like, I don't want to go in for the kill right now. I like the dude. I think he's a good dude. But I'm saying, hey, why don't you, you want it, right? And we're offering a free class on the 27th. It's how to make $100,000 in real estate. It's from 530 to 730. I'm like, dude, go register for the class, right? The seating is limited. We have 50 tickets. That's it. It'll sell out. And I'm like, just come show up. And so I want him to see the, the type of environment that we're creating, John. John, one thing you really understood really good and you were humble enough to see it right away is that I, I'm, I'm like I'm emptying my glass when I come in the door and I want you to fill it up. I want you to teach me how to, to go sell real estate at a high level. And that's what I committed myself to, man. Yeah. It's like and guys like you, you get it. And guys like, you know, Jeremy, people like Lacey, Sharon, man, we, we got people here that just get it and they're going to go out. And they're, you know, they're going to put money in their pocket. And at the end of the day, they're not worried about the commission split because they're making money. They're not on this list. You see what I'm saying? And so, like, I just, I, I'm just so frustrated that this actually, this is, this is who we are as a marketplace. It's like 50% of the agents don't make any money. What other industry is that true, John Clark? You can't, you can't. And here's the thing. You, everybody needs to come out. Agents that. Uh, don't feel they have support should be there on the 27th agents that, people that were in uh, you know say we're like me we're in the corporate world that want to change and have a schedule or a life and see their family again because that's the most important thing uh, like we said the time thing is super important and when you're not a, when you're not around the wife or the children that's that the, down the line is going to hurt your feelings so I wanted to fix that immediately um, and so that was my scenario. But then there's also people like Jeremy, which is going to be a great story, which is a guy that actually went with a plan that was pre-constructed to, to slowly leave his industry and come into this. So he never had to jeopardize the fact that he already had a family and a career that was relatively new and he wanted to, he wanted to make a move to something. So there's going to, people are going to hear three or four different scenarios that all are going to fit them. 
if they make it to this thing on the 27th. So I, I highly recommend it. Um, I bring in, I'm bringing two friends. One um, was a bar. This guy is not a, a, a scared of work. He is a, he's in a punk band. He, who just came back on tour from Europe. The guy runs a punk label and he happened. Oh man, we got a time filler here. So I'm just going to, I'm going to reiterate what I was saying before, because I think the real disconnect here, where the real disconnect is in our industry is that it's not that brokerages aren't paying high commission splits because there's a brokerage on every corner right now that that'll pay you hundred percent commission. You know, you pay them a monthly fee. I mean, there's brokerages paying 80% commission. Uh, there's still brokerages paying 60% commission with the 6% royalty, right? We know those are out there, but where the real swing and a miss is, where, where the, where, where I think the, the biggest disconnect, why we have this list of people right here who all have zeros by their name, the reason why is because they don't have the tools, the coaching, and the resources to be successful. They don't have it. And their brokerage is not providing it because they can't. In most cases, you have a broker, and I can think of a couple in our local marketplace here. Most places you have a broker who's never even sold real estate at a high level. He would have no idea how to tell, teach you to sell and create a, a, an unbelievable business where you sold, you know, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 homes a year. He just doesn't have the knowledge to be able to do that. And a lot of the people training in these local brokerages. I'm sorry. You're good, man. A lot of people training in these local brokerages, they don't do it either. And so that's why people like John Clark and I, we realized that 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 there is a our, our industry's broken. And so like we're, we're, we're coming after these people. Like we're, we're throwing our, our, we're throwing the proverbial life vest in the water, the life raft in the water. And those people that want to succeed, those people that really want to make it and don't want to quit and don't want to get a second job, we're going to save them and we're going to let the rest drown. I know that sounds terrible, but that's just the reality, man. Mr. Clark, welcome back, my brother. Sorry about that. My kid tried to FaceTime me with his grandparents, so he didn't know about this. So uh, Listen, that's okay, man. It wouldn't be a true podcast without a technical difficulty with me. <laughs> Especially with me. Yeah. So, I mean, so, you know, kind of, to kind of round this out, man, I, I, I love that we are, we're doing this today because it's a special day for you. Obviously, you're 12 months in. Um, you've had an amazing 12 months, and I know the next 12 months are going to be even better what are you focused on now moving forward? Well, first of all, I want to beat $1.9 million next year. Um, that's I fell $500 short of that number. I was trying to hit two. And uh, unfortunately, in June, lost two deals um, to financing. But, you know, I, let's see, I had enough in the, in the funnel to knock out July. So uh, it was a strong comeback. And so if uh, uh, the goal next year. Of course, is to beat that number and probably see if I can't double it up a little bit. Um, short of that, I just want to kind of ex uh, expand our network a little bit and see how many people we can help. Uh, can we set your goal right now? I'm sorry? Can we set your goal right now? Sure. Give it to me. Let's do $5 million. Sounds good to me. Second year. I think second year in, you are fully capable of doing $5 million. Yeah, I'm not scared of it. And, and, and the, you know what's great about that is like John – John Clark will let me hold him accountable to making. That's a B hag, man. You know what that is? That's a B hag. Yep, that's your big, hairy, audacious goal, my brother. <laughs> right. Well, listen, man. I, I, I'm just. Uh, I'm grateful to have you. Um, it, it's been such a pleasure to 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 be have an opportunity to work with you in in uh, in real estate and to see you come so far, man. It's just been it's been a fun ride, brother. And you know, we obviously we have our haters out there. Um, but that's the reality. If, if you're, if you don't have haters, you know, you're not doing enough, man. You're not working. All right. And, and, and we are, we're going to try to fix this. We understand that the industry's broken. We're going to try to create more people like my man, John Clark here, like my man, Jeremy Johnson, Lacey, Sharon, Pam, we got so many of them, Teresa. We just, we got a lot of people that are out there grinding and they're just killing it. And you know, they'll never be on this list. They will never be on this list. But to those of you who are, we have a lifeline for you, and your lifeline is on Tuesday, August 25th, 
Go to 100krealtor.com. Make sure you register. We have a limited amount of seats. We don't have a big room this time. We're super excited to see the turnout, but we're going to be drilling down on helping you grow your business. That's it. That's it. We're just going to be drilling down on helping you grow your business. Mr. John Clark's going to be presenting there. My man, Jeremy Johnson, is going to be telling his story on how he transitioned from being a teacher to now being one of our top agents. And so I would highly recommend that you come, go register. Again, that's 100krealtor.com. John Clark, any parting thoughts, my brother? No, sir. Uh, I get to this show because the next one's going to be in the Buckeye Stadium, guys. You want to go ahead and register quick. Have a great night, Mike. Thanks again for your help, buddy. Appreciate you. Yes, sir, dude. It's always a good time having you on, man. And, and I always, always, always enjoy telling these stories. I know that EXP is literally changing agents' financial lives, my own included. Do me a big favor. If you know someone that might enjoy the podcast, please, please, please share it with them. And if you like the podcast, please go to wherever you listen to podcasts and subscribe. If you want to learn more about why EXP is the fastest growing real estate company in the country, or you're just interested in growing your business, head on over to explodingwealth.com. And if you want to jump on a call one-on-one -on -one with me, go to meetmikewall.com. That's it for this one, folks.